girls, welcome back. I hope that you've had a really good week. So this week, what we're gonna be doing is, are we gonna work out? So it's about you and your person, literally the two of you. Um, obviously it's gonna work on the strongest mutual energy between you all, as always. Um, but it's gonna be, are you two gonna get your shit together and work it out, okay? This is deck number one, it's a nice strong masculine deck, and this is deck number two, it's a more feminine deck. So can you go where you are drawn, please? Just generally where you are drawn today, either with the masculine energy or with the feminine energy, where you feel you are most drawn to. Don't just get drawn to the masculine because I've said the word masculine, if you're a feminine watching, really trust your inner judgment on this. Number one and number two, go where you are drawn. So, as always, as you know, it works on the strongest mutual energy between you all. So if you want to look at circumstances and individual situations, just drop me an email. I do a 15 minute, half hour, and I do single questions over email with a quick response rate. For those of you that don't have the wait list. Okay, think about your person. Can we get into the collective energy of the people, their people? Collective energy of their people. So the first thing I'm getting is, um, it was not share, it's the other one that does it, that turn back, if only I could turn back time, is that, was it aqua? Really old, that, that was when I was a little dot, that, um, turn back time and I think it's like aqua. So your person is feeling a little bit um, remorseful, a little bit yearning and a little bit longy. Let's get into their thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, thought processes and the collective energy of you both, your possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances and changes and the most probable outcome and then we're going. Okay. Right, can you tell me please, will the people watching and their people work out? Yeah, turn back time by Aqua, I can't remember the rest of it. Um, but I can only hear the chorus. Will they work out the people watching and their people? Will they work out? I need to get a flower on this deck. You know those of you that read, if your decks are ever sticky like this one, just bung them in um, flower. It takes the static off them. Will they work out? Will they work out? Four, five, Nine, my guide is saying nine. One, two, three, four, five, eight. Let's get one over the top. So what is currently happening with you and your person is that there has been a lot of aggravation between the two of you. Um, as a whole, as your collective energy, your person has said over the past, they have said some stuff or acted in a way that has kind of been detrimental to you and your relationship with them, uh, whatever means your relationship is. Relationship is just the, the overall, whether you're uh, with someone else, whether they're with someone else, whether you're single, whether you, 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 whatever your individual circumstances are. There has been a lot of stuff that has happened in the past that has created these kind of tower moments between the two of you. Now, regardless of whether you're not in contact or you are in contact or where you individually are at the moment, these towers have hit you and your person. Um, you will be feeling the brunt of it because you, you guys have this kind of mask on thinking that this person doesn't actually feel the way they feel about you. There's a little bit of confrontation in your heart thinking, well, if they love me, they wouldn't treat me like this. Um, equally, your person is having these tower moments as well because they know that if you two have got to work out, they've really got to prove that they are going to be worth it to you. And at the moment, um, it's like you two have reached this kind of stalemate, this bit of an equilibrium. Nothing much is really, really happening at this moment in time. Now, what you will feel nothing is happening with your situation on a physical, earthly level, okay? That's what we mean. Nothing is happening at this moment in time. Now, on this card, we have your helixes, and we talk about this, you know, we talk about this, how you guys, with the more divine connections, you will entwine and outtwine, out, I don't think outtwine's a word, but outtwine, entwine and outtwine out of each other's lives. Um, so, with these tower moments hitting, a lot of you are going to be at this stalemate situation at the moment. I'm not entirely sure how it's going to progress. Um, your person, whilst this is happening, is is really, they are thinking about everything they've done, they're thinking about their actions, they're thinking about what has caused the situation to go the way it has, and there is a sense of grieving, there is this, this 
sense of bereavement, the sense of I really should have handled things better, I should have I should have changed my tactics, if only there was a time machine and we could go back in time, I would take it back in time and really change how the situation has unfurled. They know that they've been idiots, some of them know that they haven't treated you in the best possible way, but what they were doing while they were doing that was they were kind of on a little bit of self-protect, whatever your situations were, there was this need for them, or they felt that there was this need for them to self-protect. Um, They've still got hope that this is going to come and, and turn out in your guys' favour. But at the moment, there is this stalemate energy of, I've really messed up. How could this be possible? Why would they even want to look at me again? Um, I'm not entirely sure how to go about it. So what's going to happen from there is your person is going to take this leap of faith towards you. So if you are at this stagnant energy at the moment, don't fret. It's not going to last massive amounts of time. I'm hearing a two, um, as your collective timing, I'm hearing a two, so that could be two weeks, two months, two days, two years. I'm hearing a two, very, very clearly. Um, they will be jumping back into your life. So even if you're not in contact, there is this need for them to reach out and communicate with you. And when they do that, they will be acting from a more stable position. There is going to be a remorse that is coming through with your people. So they are going to be sad about what's happened. They will be remorseful. They will apologise for their efforts and what they've said or what, how they've acted. You will get that apology. Now, it's not going to be to the depth that you want it to be, Spirit are saying, but they are saying that you will get some form of apology. Your person's not going to have a personality transplant, I'm afraid to say. They will still be in this very stubborn based energy. Um, some of your people have got, not all of you, but some of your people have got quite excessive tempers. And what can happen with that is when buttons are pushed or well, when they feel under pressure, they snap. And this is part of the reason why towers have hit around you guys, because it's been too much pressure, it's been too intense, there's been, you haven't been fulfilled in the way you guys want to be fulfilled. You've tried to either communicate with them or say stuff to them, and these towers have erupted because you've both been in kind of different stance, stances about it all. So... With the time that's happening between the two of you at the moment, with this kind of stagnant based energy, your person is really retreating into their thoughts, into their emotions, into their feelings and working out what to do about the situation. And again, that level of regret is on them. I've just had a really heavy weight put onto my shoulders so they have feel like they've got the world on their shoulders at the moment. It's not just with regard to you, especially if you guys are involved in a, a third party situation, there's someone else. Your person is really weighing up their choices and their decisions and um, what's right for you, what's right for them. Is there a way it can make it work? So it's not all hope is lost. They are just feeling very burdened by it at the moment, kind of pushed you guys a little bit to the side while they go and deal with their own problems, um, which does include you. Now, from there, when they start jumping through these hoops with you, um, you have got really positive things moving in the right direction. Now, it's going to be down to you guys on what it is that you want, okay? It's going to be down to you guys to kind of make the choices, make the changes, make the chances for this relationship to work. So, at the moment, you can't really do anything, but when these opportunities present themselves, which they will do with the Page of Cups, these opportunities will present themselves to you. So when your person starts presenting these opportunities, it's going to be down to you on what choices you want to make about the situation. In other words, Spirit is saying, you are going to be the one that is calling the shots on it. Don't let them all call over you. You do not want to keep repeating this pattern again, uh, whatever cycle you guys are when you, you really, the cycle has got to break. Um, and the way it's going to break, and you're going to hate me for saying this, is by you guys kind of standing in your power, okay? Because at the moment, you almost feel as if your person, I wouldn't say you feel, yeah, you feel as if they've used you. That's just your uh, your um, own point of view on it as such. Um, it isn't fact, it isn't reality, but that is genuinely how you guys are feeling. Um, so when they do come and make this offer towards you and kind of give you this olive branch and say, okay, let's lay our weapons down, let's see where we go from here, it's going to be up to you guys on what it is that you specifically want from the situation. So there's going to be a number of changes that will be happening. You have got the chance of union. You have got the chance of things moving in the right direction. Your person does very, very much love you. And again, if you can see on this, the helixes are kind of entwined at the bottom. So you're going to be, even if it doesn't work out for the time being and you go your separate ways, 
because you've decided no it's not what I want at this moment in time you are still going to have this in and out wavering energy one of you is um as I just said five years one of you specifically has kind of been waiting for even almost a five-year period for these um, you've been in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out, and you're, now you're not in contact and you're thinking, oh, what if they never come back? But if they've come back so far, they will come back again. But this cycle has got to break. You are gonna, you've got to be in your high priestess hour. You've got the power, hour? High priestess power, possibly with the word hour slipping through my mouth there, and it could be that some of you will hear in the next hour as well like that um so with this kind of power based energy you'll be standing in that um you will then make these choices um and even if you do decide that you want to go your separate ways for this time being it it's going to come back round okay it will come back round later on moving in the right direction moving on the right path and um, spirit is saying again remember with the more divine connections it's not really about your end destination it is about the journey and a lot of you could write some wonderful wonderful books on the shit that's been happening with you and your person and um, do know that they love you they've got a very funny way of showing it sometimes um, but in this time where you are at this stalemate situation and you don't really know what's going on um, in this stalemate energy this is their thinking time this is their processing time this is the time when they're thinking i really shouldn't have done that or I shouldn't have acted like that they're also analyzing why their behavior has made the situation come into the way it has okay they're, they're wondering you know they are they don't really they haven't noted that all reactions have um, all actions have reactions and all reactions have actions they haven't quite worked that out at this moment in time but they are thinking well, if I'd handled that differently, this could have gone differently as well. So again, that level of remorse is coming through. That time machine that they want, this turning back time energy, they would love to go back in time and handle the situation differently. But all they can do is make amends from where you guys are at this moment in time. There could be a lot of water under the bridge. And when you're in your power energy, you might say, you know what? I've kind of had enough of this. I, I'm, I feel like I'm being pushed from pillar to post. But even if you do say that and you think no it's not the right time there is still going to be that chance for the two of you to come together later okay you are more in control of this situation than what you are giving yourself credit for you're thinking oh a lot of you are thinking oh well they haven't texted or they are the ones that are blowing hot and cold with me or they're the ones that are doing this they're doing that but again it's all actions and reactions and if you take a step back from that you are the one that has more power over the situation. You're just not seeing it at this moment in time. You are going to be the one that calls the shots. You are going to be the one that has to stand in your strong energy and tell them what you're going to put up with and what you're not going to put up with. You are the one that's going to have to kind of draw the the, the lines as such, like the, the borders of what's acceptable, what's not acceptable. And through that, if you stand in that power-based energy, your person is going to match what you are suggesting to them, okay? So they're not going to just say, oh yeah, 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 that's fine, and go off and do it again. But you will have to stay in that power-based energy for that to happen. So as in, you can't just say it once and then expect it to happen. What Once it's happened, once you've had that discussion and you said, right, this is on my terms now, um, they will accept those terms. And if they start to do it again and the, the things start to go a bit awry and th they start ghosting or being quiet with you again step back into that power based energy you know that power based energy is your control of the situation and your control of the situation is what's going to let this unfurl in the right direction for you guys know that they are sad know that they are grieving know that they are feeling quite low about it not expecting a personality transplant starting to they're, they're trying to get themselves into a more stable position to make you good offerings your helixes are going to be entwining again in in a case of a two feeling sad about it all towers have kind of hit everywhere and you guys have really got to rebuild this relationship um, in the direction that you want it to go you know there is a danger with debt number one if you don't get into that power based energy that history will keep repeating itself and you really don't want that to happen and um, because you've been enough through enough pain to last a lifetime like spirit said you could write a book on it so in your power based energy you are calling the shots these offers will come in from them and you are the ones that are going to have to choose um what it is that you want what direction you want to go in but will it work out yeah if you kind of rewrite everything that's happened and you stand in that power based energy there is a really good chance that the two of you will make it where's it gone the two of you will make it okay it's all written in the cards uh yeah anything else on that 
yeah, the spirit just saying you'll see. <laughs> They're just saying you'll see. As time progresses, at the moment you're going to think, oh, I don't know, I don't know, nothing's really happening. But as time progresses, you will start to see things fitting into place. It's almost a bit like that jigsaw where you've got a bit here and a bit there. And at the moment, you're seeing it from your perspective. They're seeing it from their perspective. And your, your jigsaw pick pieces aren't mixing together but there will be that mutual ground between the two of you where your pieces can slot together and you can work out what it is that you want okay obviously you love them obviously you want to be with them but it's going to come down to a case of I'm not going to accept this behavior anymore so you love me the way that you love me um but you have to you have to adhere to my terms on it and you'll have that chance okay that's debt number one okay let's Sorry guys, I had to go and get a glass of water. Okay, deck number two. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into your energy, gonna go into your people's energy, and we're gonna pull out the strongest mutual energy between you all. You know how this works by now. Um, so it will work on your energies regardless of situations and circumstances. Um, just with the strongest mutual energy between you all. And if you want to look at individual situations and circumstances, just drop me an email. Okay, think about your person. Can we get into their person's energy, please? The collective energy of the pe their people. Okay, so the first thing I'm getting, I'm kind of getting a mix of two songs. I've got, um, it must have been love, but it's over now, and I can't remember who that's by. Um, but equally, we've also got Celine Dion, the one that goes, if you touch me like this and you hold me like that. Um, it's all coming back to me. Okay. Right, can we see what's going to happen next with them and their people? Are they going to work out? Will they work out? So there's a mixture of the two songs there. So there's a mixture of moods and energies between you and your people within this deck. Um, kind of very conflicted energy happening. Okay, can we have nine cards, please? What's going to happen next with them and the person? Will they work out? Will they work out? Two. I don't know if I've used this deck on a public before. I got this at the conference. It's so pretty. Will they work out? Will they work out? Them and their person, will they work out? And the overall outcome? Nothing. Okay. So, what's currently happening with you and your person? Your person is a little bit torn at the moment. They're torn between three different aspects of everything that's going on in the life with regard to you. You have the King of Wands. You have the King of Pentacles and you have the Nine of Pentacles as well. So your person at this moment in time is weighing up what they are actually doing about the situation. There is a sexual pull towards you, but there's also this need for kind of stability and security. And then at the same time, your person's thinking, well, maybe I'm best off going it alone. Okay, they've got this very, very conflicting energy and that's why these two songs came through at the start and um, it must have been love and it's all coming back to me. They are very, very conflicted in their heart and their head towards you. Their heart is pulling you towards, uh, pulling them towards you. Their head, in a sense, is pulling them towards you, but they're a little bit concerned that they can't give you the stability that you need at this moment in time because they're not feeling that stable themselves. Spirit is saying there is a sense of escapism behaviour going on with you and your person um, at the moment more so on your person side of things they are trying to escape problems and um, they are trying to pretend that there is nothing really going on uh, so there's going to be likelihood of alcohol drug misuse um, there's going to be playing game station for hours there's going to be hiding away from text messages from you so that they don't have to do anything about it they are trying to weigh it all up at this point in time they're feeling quite positive about the situation even though they're conflicted they do still feel positive about it they feel that this is going to start turning in one direction or another and there's going to be some choices that are made on it so it has been a little bit backwards and forwardsy i just had a clairvoyant image of a tug of war again which is i don't know if you play it in other countries but in, in england this tug of war um between you and them you and them you are kind of both fighting for the same thing but you're fighting about it different ways and this is why your person is feeling this conflicted energy as well spirit are saying that they have been quite selfish with regard to the situation and they have put their needs above your needs um, and this 
this is why this, the King of Wands is kind of coming through as well. It's possible, not with all of you, but they've acted more on this sexual based energy. Um, reason for that is to kind of mask away these emotions at this moment in time. They don't want to talk about emotions all the time. Plus they're crap at talking about emotions. So when it comes to it, sometimes they will portray sexual energy rather than emotional energy. Now the interesting thing over here is in your outcome you have the King of Cups. So at the moment you have the King of Wands and the King of Pentacles, but your outcome is the King of Cups. Remember we're never sexually orientated or gender specific on this channel, so remember whatever uh, your individual circumstances are, it doesn't have to be a masculine energy, it can be a feminine energy as well. Um, but the King of Cups is the person, this, this is your heart based energy, this is your I, I love you, this is your stability, your security, this is everything you want. And at the moment, they're not quite there, okay? But they are heading in this direction of this King of Cups. They've been very hurt in the past, not that that's your fault, but they've been very, very hurt in the past. They've been trying to feel, um, take a step back, rest from the situation. You've been, I love this deck so much, you've been peeking in on them. I don't know if you can see there's a person's head there. You've been peeking in on them. And whilst they've been trying to rest, they've actually been feeling very, very sad about the situation. They've been feeling heartbroken on it. This period of rest has kind of made them go into this energy of what am I doing? We're, we're torn between these two things. And they're trying to stand there and be victorious over it at the moment. You are still in, you are in their mind. They are thinking it all through. Um, but they are equally quite torn on it all at this moment in time. But with the King of Cups over here, this is where the situation is going to go. So there is heart-centered energy coming forward. Um, Nine of Pentacles, again, thinking maybe it's better if I try it alone and see where I end up. They are definitely retreating from the situation. They are definitely in said man cave. Again, never sexually orientated or gender specific. They're trying to come up with solutions to this situation at the moment. Sometimes they feel like they're banging their head against a brick wall because regardless of, again, your situations is different, but they feel like with a lot of your people feel that the situations are a bit of a catch-22 energy and they don't know how to progress with it at the moment. And therefore it's kind of going around in this circle and this cycle between the two of you. Now the good news is that once this heart-centered energy takes over, things are gonna be turning in your direction. It's turning around again. Um, there is past life energy here as well. So even if you guys, um, are twin flames or a more divine connection there still seems to be a karmic bond between the two of you so there's going to be a karmic energy from previous lifetimes which is helping not helping this cycle break okay if you want past life re readings doing you want to try and clear the energy of this karma let me know because we can do that for you we being me and guys there is a need for freedom there is a need for strength and there is a need for courage okay uh with your person and at the moment again they're torn. So you have the stability, the sexual energy, and uh, maybe I should be alone. Then on the other side of things, you have the strength, you have the freedom, and you have courage. And it's all this kind of weighing it all up and, and down and not sure what to do about it. They might have turned their back on you for the time being, but they're also equally clinging on to the situation. So don't lose hope yet. Even if they've cut it out, they are still clinging onto it with hope that it's gonna turn in the right direction feeling heartbroken over it, trying to turn that heartbreak into a period of rest, still thinking about you, know that you are still thinking about them, they, do, they are aware of that, whether you're sending telepathy or communication or whatever your individual, again, whatever you're doing, they are aware that you're thinking of them and they are feeling that they've got to make a choice on it. At the moment, they're not doing it, um, but this, this is gonna turn once they start leveling these thoughts and these emotions and these uh, feelings out. Spirit is saying that the uh, sacral chakra is really activated at the moment and it's kind of doing a little bit of a tenfold on them. I don't know if you guys know, but sometimes if your chakras aren't balanced, um, your chakras can become overactive, which means they spin really, really quick, or they can become clogged, which means they don't spin at all. Um, your chakras should be spinning nice and slowly round, but they can be a little bit overactive or they can get stuck. The reason why that happens is because of life when situations happen or health problems and things like that. Now your sacral energy is normally um, is a sexual energy. It's also to do with the liquids in your body. So again, a sexual energy. Um, and there is either overactive energy in that or there is a blocking. So as your whole energy, there is this sacral kind of uh, overactive or blocked energy with you guys and um, the best thing to do about that is if you guys can get a carnelian crystal um, if you can just put it in your like your trouser pocket because keep it as near to your, your sacral chakra as you can um, or if you can wear it as a bracelet that would help as well okay 
just kind of clear these energies out and if you aren't haven't got any crystals and you haven't got access to crystals then just do some meditations to ask the meditations to echo onto your person so that the sacral energy can just clear a little bit that could be why if a lot of you your person has been overly sexual it's because they're overactive in the sacral and if they've withdrawn and you're not getting anything no emotions no sex no nothing um it's because it will be blocked Okay, so just keep that at the back of your mind. So they are going to retreat from the situation. We have third parties being brought into this, three people, um, potentially four people if you are with someone else. There is, again, this need for balancing and decisions. And whilst they're trying to get the courage and their strength up, they are working out what they want. So if they are already with someone else, they actually know where they want to be. They know that they would like it to work out with you. But there is this again security stability this courage this strength this freedom maybe i'm better off being alone torn energy um and you are kind of feeling the same as them a little bit because whilst you want it, everything on paper you are like the perfect couple majority not all of you, <laughs> the, you, you a lot of you are kind of like this perfect couple a lot of you have the arguments and tension and twin flame connection so but you have this really strong perfect between the two of you are actually really good together and it's circumstances which are making this not so good. If you took all circumstances out of it and the two of you were together, it would be a relationship made in heaven. The circumstances are dictating why this energy is moving between three parts. Your freedom, your um, courage and freedom, courage and strength, sex, stability, love really torn between three different parts um, and again if there's three people involved there's a three 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 in that for you okay so just keep attention if you're seeing three three threes and um, that's going to start moving things in your favor just be aware of that even if you're not seeing it on an earthly level the three 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 is going to mean that it's shifting back towards you your person is making movement okay movement towards you they are going to um try and come up with solutions to this where they are at this moment they're reaching a brick wall at the moment they can't find the solutions but they are going to try to think it all through and once they've got these ideas of solutions and um, they will then come to you and say well what do you think about this now it's not going to be potentially the offer a lot of you want to hear but it's going to be a step in the right direction and from there you two can discuss it and you can work out what it is that you want to do about the situation they are going to retreat from it so if you're not in contact don't freak out they might be going at the back of a turtle they might be on the top of the turtle and it's going to go really, really slow paced, but there is still slow movement, okay? So it's not unfurling in the times that you would want it to, but it is unfurling. Um, and again, like we said, if it wasn't for circumstances, this relationship would be very, very positive. Strong movement, strong movement happening in the not too distant future. And with your celebration over here, there is going to be some kind of solution made. Now, whether you want that solution or not, that's going to be down to you. So basically what's happening, let's just recap on that. You've got these torn energies, these very, very torn energies into three parts, potential third party relationships. But even if it's not third party, circumstances um, are what is dictating the situation at the moment rather than heart based energy. And if you guys started working on your heart based energy, they will come up with solutions. You will come up with solutions to this. There seems to be no way and uh, no way to resolve it at this moment in time. And that's why your person's withdrawing or backing away or could be a little bit offish with you because they're trying to come up with solutions to these problems. Once they've worked it out, once they've come out of this, this hermit mode, this movement over here, um, even though it's going to be slow movement, this movement over here is going to lead to whether you guys can work it out. There is, um, it's going to take work. It is going to take work. It's going to take two hands to clap. You're both going to have to really think about it. And in this time, especially if you guys aren't in contact, it might be worth you guys thinking if there is a way that you would like this relationship to go and how. OK, because when they come to you and say, well, we could work, we could work, but we've got to do it like this. So if you're not happy with that, you say to them, well, I'm not that happy with that. Can we do it this way instead? So if you're not in contact or if you're in sporadic contact or slow contact or even if they're messaging you all the time and you're not coming up with solutions, take a step back and think, what is it that you want from the situation? Your instinct is going to know. Your gut instinct is going to tell you what you want from it. And if it's telling you that you want this to work, you want it to go in the right way, you two will have to put your heads down together, think it all through, come up with the solutions and then act on them. So it's not a quick fix. Um, it's not a quick fix, 
but it's a fix okay so once you work it through once you've come up with solutions there is a way that it can work but it's not it's not necessarily easy it's not overnight it's not yes it's going to happen like this there's been a lot of trust issues being brought up with you guys there has been an element of distrust as well trust issues and distrust on kind of both your parts there is this kind of hurricane tornado energy with some of you where you just kind of erupt because you're very intense characters is probably the right way to say it you're both very intense characters and it can um, lead to these eruptions between the two of you but underneath it all there is this heart-based energy and even if they're not thinking about it at the moment they will they will because it's only really a matter of time before that starts moving back towards you um they do want a future with you they're just not quite sure how it's possible at this moment in time and you are kind of the same you're kind of the same because even though you're like, yes, it's going to work, it's going to work, you're still thinking your head is getting involved and going, oh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Try not to act on fear-based energy. Try to act on heart-centered energy rather than the fear-based energy. Remember, there's only two core emotions in our life, love and fear. And if you act on fear, um, it's going to manifest and create more fear, going to create more lack. So if you can try to turn those fear-based energies into love-based energies, that would do you um, good as well. Shifting, movement, happening, torn. It's torn. But together, if you guys work out the solutions, there is a way for it to work. But you've really got to step outside the box and think it through. And your person is thinking it through at the moment. So it's worth you guys thinking it through as well, knowing what you want, and then seeing if the two of you can meet in the middle. And if you meet in the middle, this will work. Okay. And that's step number two. So if you want me, uh, for readings, I do 50 minute, half hour single questions. I also do past life readings for clearing karma. I also have one space available uh, for spiritual development with me if you like, if that's something that you want to do as a mentoring program that I run. Um, single questions turnaround is 24 to 48 hours. Uh, there is a bigger, bigger turnaround on video readings just because my wait list is big, but I'm working as quickly as I can. Um, and if not, I will see you all in a week. Um, be good, be safe, look after yourselves and I'll speak to you soon. Lots of love. Bye.